Hello! And now, from Italy, another take on the whole Kinder Surprise Egg where you get a toy and some chocolate, it's Picnic Gadgets! Because, yes. Right, British people will be recognising this as something very similar to Choc Dip, which is where you get a sort of uh, chocolatey dip to dip your sort of little breadstick things in. And that's entirely it. That's breadsticks in a nutshell, people. But that was not enough for the Italians, who have added a gadget inside, which I'm sure will be absolutely amazing. I'm quite intrigued by this character on the front, who we shall call Picnic the Third, for no particularly good reason. He appears to be firing presents out of a top hat, whilst done up as a wizard, but also wanted to be a cool 90s kid at the same time, so he's got this ridiculous flapping cap on backwards. But the joke's on him, because he is literally one of the sticks we're going to eat, and he will have his head bitten off. Never really understood uh, sort of promotional characters that are the food stuff you're going to eat. So on the top, we get an idea of what's inside. I think we'd kind of worked that out already. And no, it's not out of date for once. That makes a nice surprise. And then there is much writing in Italian. And a very, very stiff-looking person dropping a cup in a bin. Or maybe causing the cup to levitate out of the bin. We may never know. And the sad onion looks mm, a bit more glum than usual, rather than sad. Looks like his face is slowly falling down his head as well. Always a problem. So, is it any good from an edible point of view, and is it any good from a toy point of view, and does anyone really care? The answer to the last question is no. The answers to the other parts, we will now find out. Right, we have... Ooh, there we are. Them's the sticks. There's the chocolate goo. Ooh, it's sort of gone a bit overly hard, I would have thought. Mm. And there's also the toy in the bottom. Let's uh, retrieve that now. Not look at it too closely, we'll have a look in a second. And open our silver foil packet of bread sticky things. Right, what's it like in its own? Um, exactly as I remember chocolate being. Fair enough. And we'll put it in the disturbingly flaky chocolate. There needs some more oil in it or something, lads. It's kind of gone a bit. Bleh. Oh well, as we mixed it up, it'll be alright. Oh. Hmm. The chocolate's not great. It tastes slightly, um, slightly more like vegetable oil than chocolate. Actually, don't quite know what that's about. Don't remember that being a problem with the chocolate dip here. Yep. Sorry, picnic gadget, you failed on the sweetie front. But we still have the endearingly shit toy car to go with it. This actually is very reminiscent of Kinder Surprise toys from many years ago. They've gone a little bit upmarket now, where they just give you a fucking cardboard jigsaw or something. Right, I'm not going to bother reading the instructions. I reckon we can probably work those out. No, I'm going to look at the instructions. They might be amusing. Oh, look, free raffle ticket. That's always a good start. And, um, no, that's just a guff. And, oh, here are plastic cars. Here is how to make the car. That was not amusing. I was wrong, and I apologise. Right, if I can get this out without completely destroying my fingers, I need those later, we shall construct ourselves this amazing Citroen 2CV. don't really know. Is that a bit of sprue, or is that um, something to put a trailer on? Well, I've pulled it off now, so we'll just assume it was sprue. What a great word. Sprue. Spruity, spruity, sprue. Right, here we go. That's the orange bit assembled. Stick the blue bit on the top and get your motor running. Here we are. Your very own toy tin snail. Well, the wheels go round and it looks a bit crap. But it is pleasing me, actually, just because it does really remind me of the old Kinder Surprise stuff from many, many years ago. Also, it makes this noise when you flick it at the sofa. Fantastic. Oh well. Um, yeah, toys a bit crap, but slightly endearingly so. Food's a bit crap, but not endearingly so. <clears throat> in fact, I've just got a breadstick stuck in my throat. That's not a good start. Or indeed, a good end. Subscribe for more.